but I've redecorated so I wanted to show you guys an update and then also go through the drawer. Okay, so this drawer down here, it's a little crazy, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys these. So it came in white. I almost bought the white, but I'm like, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Fashion Friday. I am here today with the most requested video I get on my channel and that is a full beauty room closet tour. And I have been wanting to do this for a while now since I haven't done one in 2020 yet, but I also don't think I did one in 2019. So I haven't done one in a long time and it was definitely time to redecorate and organize and just get things ready for the new year. So if you wanna see more, videos like this definitely give it a thumbs up to let me know i hope you enjoy it though i definitely was thorough on going through everything and showing you guys my entire space and everything that i have in here uh, so everything will be linked down below if i can find it for you which most things i was able to find and i just hope you guys enjoy it so if you do give it a thumbs up for me and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now let's get started all right so getting over to my ikea pack system right here. I get questions all the time on where this is from. It is Ikea and you can build it yourself. There's so many different ways that you can set this thing up and I actually put the clothing rack in not long ago. So I used to actually have all shelves, but I really like the fact, like if you if you love displaying clothes and shoes, I really recommend doing a clothing rack um, as well. But I'll leave a link down below on all the links for all the individual uh, drawers that I have and all the add-ons, the inserts and everything like that so I think it's a really great way if you are looking to build a closet uh, it's really affordable so I do suggest the IKEA pack system and it's great um, and yeah I've been using it for a very long time as you guys know my last closet tour that I did I did have the same shelves but I've redecorated so I wanted to show you guys an update and then also go through the drawers so just showing you guys the top shelf right here I actually wanted to display a lot of my luxury boxes which I've never really done and I think it actually turned out really nice I always see it in other people's closets so I did display some of my Chanel I have House of CB and then the one with the bow is also House of CB right there and then there's Louis Vuitton so I just thought I would space them out and do two on each shelf not or each shelf and not have them be too crowded and then basically for my bags which I'm not sure why I didn't do before but I put my larger bags on the larger shelf so these two bags used to be on the shelf above and it just makes so much more sense for it to look uh, a lot a lot better and I put yeah the larger bags on the larger shelves which I think looks really really nice and it turned out great so right here uh basically you guys know i love coffee table or coffee table books so right here i have the louis vuitton i actually got this from indigo but they sell it on amazon too and then right here this was a custom book that i got made off etsy so she actually doesn't have a store anymore but i'll try to find other chanel books for you there's so many that i have that i found on amazon and then right here i actually kept this from the last time that i did my beauty room tour i just think it's so nice i got it from michael's and it's just this really cute vase and then inside i put pink flowers so i just think that's really nice and classy right here we just have a little candle that i got from indigo i have candles everywhere and then right on the right side here i just have have some of my smaller bags and I put also my right here which I've actually never used it it's basically for decor but I am in love with the multicolor and I actually have the wallet down there as well that Louis Vuitton came out with so it's just such a beautiful piece that I love to display and yeah I actually got this off fashion file and I was really happy when I found it. I'll definitely see if I can find a link to see if there's any more available. They're really hard to find though, and the inside's pink too. So super pretty, I just love that so much. So I put it right back there. And then right in front of that, I actually have my Chanel wallet on chain. So this is the iridescent one that I have. So I mean, I use this all the time. It's probably one of my favorite um, handbags that I own from Chanel, and it's just great. I don't like, 
always having so much stuff on me so you can hold your cards your phone a lip gloss and that's it basically but I got that in Santa Monica so I think this was the first piece I actually got from the collection and then right over here I have a little Dior bag this one here it's super mini it's like the, the smallest bag I probably own and it's it's super cute I didn't like it when I first got it because I was just expecting it to be bigger but it has come in handy like you can wear it to a wedding it's just a really nice small clutch bag and then right behind that we have the lucky BB so this is actually another one of my favorite bags I got this when I was in California and I love the lock I think that is just such a nice statement piece and this you can actually wear uh, just as a top handle or you can actually wear it crossbody as well so I like having options and I love the color so so much I think it's beautiful it's really nice like rosy pink and I actually have a wallet that matches this same sort of design, so I was really excited to get this bag. And then right in front of that, I actually have this number one mom. So this was from Indigo, and they have really cute uh, decor. So I tried to put like a little piece of decor in here with all my handbags, uh, but also keep it not cluttered. And I think that was basically what I wanted to do this time, because I think the last time I had it pretty cluttered, so I just wanted to be very organized but also display my handbags with having like a tiny bit of decor out so that's basically how I did that and then right in the pullout drawer here which is awesome I think this is so perfect for small leather goods and I just love this so much you can also use it for like ties scarves or hair accessories and things like that but I am such a big fan of <laughs> small leather goods so I have a lot of wallets and then I also have a lot of like little handbags wallet on chains and just to show you guys from afar what that looks like, I honestly am so happy that I got these. And if you have smaller items that you want to display, I definitely recommend getting this specific pullout uh, insert. So I'll leave a link down below on this exact one that I have. So this is just so great. It's probably my favorite thing in the entire wardrobe. Uh, and yeah, if you like smaller pieces definitely get this uh so i'll start off this side here not too much has changed basically i just switched things around in here uh but i have this this actually came i actually haven't used this before it's really thin though so i don't know if i'd put makeup in here or receipts or i don't know but it did come with this bag here so that is nice when you buy a larger bag like that you do get an insert and you can use this for whatever you want you can even put like your passport in here if you're traveling uh, so I just leave that right here and it's a little bit bigger but that's okay and then right here we have my small camera bag this is actually the rose ballerine from Louis Vuitton so I don't use this bag all that often but I do think it's a really really cute bag I just I'll show you guys in a second the other one that I do like more uh, but it is a really really cute bag so I just have it stored in here and then right next to that, I have one of my favorite wallets of all time. So this right here is the multicolor and it's pink on the inside. And just to show you guys what the inside looks like. So it's actually the same color as the makeup bag that I have. So it's that really pretty pink. I fell in love with this wallet. This is actually the very first high-end wallet I ever bought. So it's something that I would never sell. I definitely want to always keep it. And I just love it. I still use it. So, and then I actually have my initials that I did do because Louis Vuitton does that, which is awesome. So if you aren't planning on reselling, you can do that and just make it special. I did that actually with the girl's initials on another wallet that I did, if you guys haven't seen that, but I will show you in today's video too. Right here, I have this Kate Spade day planner. So the nice thing about this, you can actually just rebuy the inside pages and reuse this every year. So I just think it's so pretty. I actually actually got this as a gift from Linda um, on Instagram so she also loves handbags and stationery and everything like that so that was a really nice gift that she got me and I've kept it for the last few years and I think it's so pretty for decor as well um, and then right next to that of course I have my jewelry case so I love having that in here and I'll open it up to show you guys what I have in here as well so I love storing all of my jewelry my bracelets in here I have my Pandora bracelets and it fits in the inserts perfectly. It's the perfect size. So this is everything I have in here right now. So I just have all of my rings. So on this side, I have a lot of like Pandora. This one right here, the teardrop is from Pandora. It's a nice rose gold ring. A few other ones are gifts that I've received. And then I also have earrings 
and then some bracelets from Olive and Piper and then in this part here which I like to call it my little keepsake I have my Pandora bracelets for me and Sophia so I keep them really safe in there and I just love it so I'll leave a link down below on my jewelry case but that is in my shop right here we also have a Henry Bendel wallet this is one of the first wallets I ever got so I do keep it uh, I don't really use it anymore but it is probably one of the prettiest pinks and it's also a really nice size wallet right back here i have my lindy bag charms and i talk about these all the time they're so adorable and i do have a coupon code so if you guys want to check out her shop we have like a little horsey right here and the multicolor um palm right here and then my personal favorite is the Soroski heart look how pretty that is so that's what it looks like and it has the pink palm right there and i just keep some other ones that i have in here i have like a little s keychain i think this is from henry bendel and then some other little bag charms that i have and then i am such a lover of luggage tags and right here this was a collection that i got from home sense so it's a nice marble in pink and there's just certain things that i love collecting and uh, I buy them all the time whenever I see them and right here we have me and Sophia a little coaster I just think that's so cute and I love keeping that in my beauty space I also have this really cute uh, one that I got from indigo so it just has really cute little faces on here and then it's nice because you can put all your cards and change and everything in here so I really like that for traveling I think that's great and then we have more luggage tags we have this little wedding box that I got from my mom it says wishes for the newlyweds and I've never used it, but I think it's really pretty to keep for decor. Right here, Adventure Awaits, another luggage tag. And then back there, I think I got that one from Anthropology. And yeah, this was when I was doing my review on uh, the replica Louis Vuitton collection. So these ones are not real, they're from Amazon. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll leave a link down below, but I do keep them back there. So that is everything in this one little pullout drawer that I have. And like I said, this is awesome. I love having this for my smaller luxury goods. And oh, I just am so happy that I have that there. So right here, I'm not gonna show you everything I have in these drawers, but I'll show you what I have in the front. So the thing about these, the clear ones, is you can see everything. So that was my problem before. I had too many see-through drawers and I found it was really hard to decorate all of them. So that is why I went back to Ikea. I got four ones that were just white. So it's a little bit easier. I don't have to display so much, but I still have, you know, I can display these four and then the four on the other side there. So right here, I wanted to make it a little Chanel section. So I just have this little Chanel box and then I also have this little Chanel bag. This is actually a gift for the girls and when they're older they can use it. It's so so cute though. It's from a little boutique. I will leave a link down below. Right behind that I just have my watch box. This was from Amazon. I got it for a great price. I don't actually have all of my watches in here. I have a few. Uh, but I will show you my watch collection right over there. So that's basically where I've been keeping them. But for my other watches, I do keep them in here. And then behind that, I have a Ted Baker makeup bag, which I love. I think this is so pretty. And you can actually find these on Nordstrom Rack. They actually have a lot of Ted Baker on there. So when they go on sale, so I have that. And then I also behind there have some luggage tags that I got. My subscriber Louise actually made these for me and sent them to me. So it's very special. I keep them and I just think they're so amazing. And then just some random things back there. Won't go into that too much. And then right here, we actually have a Ted Baker jewelry case. We have Into the Night Candle by Bath & Body. This is such a nice, beautiful candle. I really, really love it. So I wanted to display it in my space somehow. So I think it looks good just in, in here. Right behind there, we have a picture of Ryan and I. This was actually one of the first photos we took together. So long time ago, six years ago, and I keep that. I actually have to display that somewhere. So I'm just gonna keep that there for now. And then, yeah, everything else in there is kind of random. Right below here, we actually have my jewelry cases. So I put even more back here. So I have some stock. So I just thought that would be great for showcasing and displaying. And right down here, I actually have another one of those Ted Baker uh, makeup bags. So this one's a little bit different. I got this one as a gift. And then right here, we have a little pineapple because I love pineapples. And then right here, we have a little Ted Baker bag. And then like super random things back here that I've gotten as gifts. So 
just keeping organized back there. So that is what it looks like. I just think it looks really organized and I can still display things and, you know, it not be a super mess, which it used to be in those drawers. So I'm really happy that I cleaned those out and I got to show you what those look like. And then above that, so on this larger shelf, so if you take a look, I'll step back here. The one in the middle is actually the largest and then it's a bit smaller on that shelf there. So I did want to put my larger bags on the larger shelf. So right here we have one of my favorite bags and it was my very first Chanel bag. So this one here is the Jumbo and it is the beige with silver hardware and I just think it is like such a classic bag. I can definitely find some of these on pre-love sites for you. So I'll leave links down below and I will also find one with the gold hardware because I know people love gold as well. I definitely think I probably would have gone with gold but I don't have a lot of silver hardware so it kind of mixes up my collection a little bit. And then right here we have a Louis Vuitton belt. It's actually my only belt I own. Uh, so it's like the rose pink one. And then on the inside, it's reversible. So it has the Louis Vuitton print on the inside. And I just think it's so beautiful. And I don't wear it too often, uh, but I definitely am going to be wearing it a lot more. And I think coming up spring, I, I definitely think it's such a pretty spring color. And then right here we have the uh, jumbo. So if you want to watch, I actually did an entire what's in my bag video using this bag. I can fit so much into this bag. It's actually pretty crazy. And right next to it, I have my, I forget what this is called. I do forget what this bag is called, but it is in that really beautiful pink that Louis Vuitton came out with. And it's such a nice, oh, I actually did a what's in my bag with this bag too. So I'll leave a link down below. I actually could fit more in this bag than I could in this. So it's a really nice bag. I can actually put my laptop in there too. And it's a great like office bag. So I'm going to take it down just to show you guys. And I just think it's great because you can actually use this bag as a crossbody as well. So it does come with a strap. And then, like I said, you can fit a, an entire laptop in here, makeup bag. And I was actually very surprised on how much I could fit in here. And it has a separate little compartment in the middle here if you want to you know close it and then yeah I just think it's great so I will leave a link down below on that video that I did but it's probably one of my favorite bags I have to say just because I can get so much in there and it does come in handy and then yeah classic Chanel bag so above that I actually have my small iridescent Chanel flap uh, so it's one of my favorite bags and like I said when that collection came out I was obsessed so I did get one of the larger bags and then I have a lot of wallets so I'll show you guys after what I have from that collection but when it came out I just fell in love so that was the 2019 collection and then right next to that I have my newest bag so that one is the Le Boy by Chanel and I got it in beige with gold hardware and I just love that bag so so much it really is super different from what I have in my collection uh, but I think it's something that I'm going to use a lot of and I think it goes with so many outfits and it's just a really different bag than the classic Chanel bags that they have so was really happy to get that and I'll try to leave a link down below on any ones that I can find pre-loved for you guys because I know I've been getting so many questions on that bag so I just want to quickly show you guys that and then above that like I said I have all of my shopping boxes which i think turned out great for decor and then of course if you are ever planning on reselling any of your bags i would highly recommend on keeping the box as well in the dust bag so it's just a really great way to display them but also keep them and then uh if you ever plan on reselling them so right in the middle here getting into the middle section i redid this completely and i think it turned out so nice and exactly what i was looking for so i wanted to do a lot of like cream colors whites pinks and just keep it very neutral obviously so it goes along with my handbags uh, but before i think i had a little bit too much pink i wanted to definitely incorporate a little bit more neutral tone colors so right here i will go through everything but i also have those same wood hangers that i got from amazon which i think are gorgeous and then also the pearl hangers that i got from uh i think it was home sense but i'll try to find other ones down below but i know you can get pearl hangers i just think they are so classy they remind me of chanel and they're beautiful so right on this shelf right here so i know i've said this before but i don't have a lot of luxury shoes and basically i have one pair of lubus that are in the middle so these ones are light pink and these are just so pretty i love these so much and yeah these are the only ones that i have besides my gucci sandals but 
Uh, I do love those, so mm -hmm. I'm just displaying those in the middle. And then right next to right next to them, I actually have beige and gray heels. These were both from House of CB, so I got these both for sixty dollars during their holiday sale. So I got them for a really great price and they are comfortable. I've tried them on and I also just think they go so well in my space. Something I just want to quickly show you guys, look how cool that is. They actually have their logo on the bottom of the shoe. It just makes it seem so much more luxurious and designer, but the cost of these were amazing. $60 was a steal. So I have the gray ones right there and I just think that looked really nice. Just three pairs right here, not too many and they just look I think they they go really well with the handbags as well so it's a little bit of each color that I own and then right here I just have this small little vase that I got from I think Home Sense and I did the white flower with the pink and I just think that's so cute and I wanted to fill the space and put something there and then to go back to the other side quickly I have our wedding photo right here so it says you and me and that was on the beach when we got married in Cabo so it's a really beautiful photo and I love the frame so much and then right here this was the bracelet I wore on my wedding day so I thought I would leave it out as decor and it's just so pretty by Elsa Corsi so she made this for me and then right here I just have this little heart tray so really beautiful and I love just sentimental pieces that I makes me remind me of my wedding day so I just thought that was very special to leave out so I did want to display some of my smaller boxes that I have so I do have on this side here a Chanel box right behind that I have some Louis Vuitton boxes that I have but I have a lot of boxes but it was nice to actually be able to display some of them and I just think it completes the area a lot more so right here we have three inserts these are all from ikea so on this first one here i just have some like necklaces so that actually was a headpiece i wore on my wedding day and then right here we have another necklace i have my louis vuitton bracelet and i might as well show you guys this is the only louis vuitton piece of jewelry that i own and i'll leave a link down below on this bracelet because they still do have it this is it right here, so cute. And it's just, like I said, really hard to put on myself. So anytime that I do wear it for date night, I have to get Ryan to put it on me. So I just keep it in the little dust bag right here. And then getting to the middle section. So this is my watch area, which you can use this for ties if you're um, you know, actually using it for, for like your husband's closet and yours as well. So it can be used for men and women. So right here we have three watches. These are all Ventura watches. So I've done a lot of videos with them because I actually love their watches so much. And one of my favorites is this nude one right here. I also have this one, which is the pink, rose pink uh, blush color that they have and it's so so pretty and then right behind that I have some Michael Kors watches I've had these for years you guys these are my first watches I ever owned and wow I can't believe they're actually in really good condition still so we have a nice rose gold one and then right back there so the Ventura watches actually have interchangeable straps so all you have to do is buy new straps so I do have some other ones back there if I want to do that and right here we have sunglasses so that is the last thing i wanted to show you guys right there oh also a pearl necklace back there i think it's kate spade and then these ones here i get most of my sunglasses from nordstrom rack they go super discounted you can get ray-bans for like 50 dollars, and i just love oh these are ray-bans right here so i got these off nordstrom rack like i said super awesome addicted to shopping on there right here we have some Jo Malone boxes so I do like to use these as decor I think they are so beautiful and luxurious and you can't really throw a box like this away and it has a nice bow on there so I have that and I just keep it out as decor uh, but right here I have this coat I think I got this from the bay a few years ago and it's just a really nice pink I actually seen a Michael Kors one that looked very similar so I'll try to find that coat for you guys down below but it is really pretty nice beautiful spring color and like I said the pearl handles are my favorite i also have this like little romper that i have here from i think fashion nova i'm pretty sure so i don't wear all of these outfits some of them just worked out to be great for like decor pieces and displaying in my room so this one here is a romper that i got so right next to that i have this vest so i think i actually got this from yeah ever new it's a store in vancouver and it's just super beautiful and I have it on the pearl hanger. Right next to that, I have this little cardigan. I actually got this 
from Fashion Nova. So I shop there quite often because you can get really good deals and cute outfits. So stuff like cardigans, I will buy there and I think they do have really nice pieces. Right here we have this nice light pink cardigan that I have and it's suede, it feels really soft. And then right here we just have another romper. Right here we have my Louis Vuitton scarf. So this is the only scarf that I own that's luxury and I just think it's so pretty. It has rose gold print on it and it's just really beautiful. I think it was a limited edition piece so I'll try to find maybe another pink scarf that I can find. Uh, but like I said, you can probably find ones like these pre-loved as well. Right here we have this shirt, probably from Fashion Nova, and then this really pretty dress that I got. This was actually from Revolve, so I got this to wear to my brother's wedding. I didn't wear it for the wedding, but I wore it like on the trip, so I just thought that was really cute. Right here we have this beautiful light pink cardigan. This is actually from Nordstrom Rack, so I definitely love shopping there, like I said. We have a H&M sweater that I love and then right here just this really nice lace cardigan so i basically try to balance everything out because i do spend a lot of money on my handbag so when it comes to clothes if you know me well you know i like to save a lot of money when buying clothes so i wait until clothes go on sale i shop on nordstrom rack i shop at fashion nova and i usually get all of my stuff for like 50 bucks or less uh so i i will try to find like some really nice clothing pieces maybe the same color patterns uh that you guys would be interested in down below and then right here like I just showed you guys I have my shoes my accessories and I just think it turned out really nice this entire section here so I will show you what's in this drawer here it's a little crazy but I do keep all of my ipsy bags so I have them all sorted on this side here and then if you guys didn't know I actually have my brushes featured in the ipsy bag so it's really exciting I like to keep all of the bags that I'm in below that drawer I actually have like all of my hats my beanies uh, so headbands everything like that I have the girls beanies that I keep in this drawer and all of these I've talked about them many times the wolf fan collective so they are by two of my friends and I love their beanies they have the best beanies in the world and they come in every color so I'll leave a link and a coupon code down below for you guys and then I actually have my wig right here if you're wondering why there is hair in there okay so this drawer down here it's a little crazy but it's uh it's stuff that I've been sent so right here we have a ton of my bling art for you mirrors that she's made She's also made me phone cases. Look how cute that is. And then, of course, it has my girls on there. Anything with me and Sophie on it, I love. Love, love, love. So that, and then she also made me this mirror. This is one of my favorite mirrors. Look how cute that is. And it has all the pictures of me and Sophie. It has my logo on there, my brush. So very special. I'll leave a link down below on her work. And she has the cutest mirrors and accessories. So right here we have like a handheld mirror. And then all this stuff over here I actually was sent from my subscribers. I have the best subscribers in the entire world. So I do keep everything and I can't wait to dig into that that stuff and in the last drawer here we just have a ton of my rompers and summer clothes that I have organized and I love rompers that is basically what I live in in the summertime so I do have a lot of dresses now getting over to this section here a lot of this is makeup so I do have a lot of my makeup displayed in these drawers here and then of course I have these so these are actually shoe uh, inserts and I am not a big fan of them I actually want to get something else and I just find they're very wobbly luckily I have no room for them to fall over but you have to be very careful with them and this is basically what all the youtubers use to store their makeup but I'm gonna get something else because it's just not working for me but I did want to show you like what I have over here anyways uh, so right here we have a little Chanel bag so that is also Mia or Sophia's when they are a little bit older from my friend Nina they're just so cute right here this is so special so my good friend Vaini actually made this for me and she's so crafty she makes wallflowers and she also sells really cute little bears so i'll leave a link down below but it has my name in here how special is that you guys so i had to display that i just think it's so thoughtful and beautiful and getting on to this section finally so on this section here we have a lot of my 
I tried to mix it up, but we have Louis Vuitton, Chanel, we have YSL, Gucci. I guess a little bit of everything on this side here. And this section, I actually have all of my wallets. So that is one of my favorite drawers in this entire section. I just love wallets so, so much. I think you guys know that by now. Uh, but I'll start off with the section right here. And if you notice in the middle here, this is my only black bag I have ever bought. And it is one of the newer Gucci, um, or sorry, not Gucci, Prada. I'm so silly. Prada bags that I got. So it's actually a crossbody bag. Look how small it is though. It is the smallest little bag. And I know that small miniature bags have been very popular this year. So I just wanted to get my Self one. This was actually for my birthday and it has the cutest little um, heart on the front here. So that's actually how you open up the bag and you can fit your cards in here. And that is basically it. <laughs> Just a card and a lipstick and that is it. But super cute. And like I said, you can wear it crossbody and I just loved it. It came in white. I almost bought the white, but I'm like, you know what? I think I want to go for black. I've never owned a black bag and I was just too worried that the white might get dirty. So I did want to get this one. They do still sell it. So I'll leave a link down below. And then right in this section right here, we have this really, really cute Lindy bag charm. So she actually has like jewelry that you can dress up your bag. And I just think that's so awesome. And it has a little heart right here and flowers. It's just so girly and I love it so much. Right here, we have this little Louis Vuitton lock. I can't remember... I want or maybe it wasn't with that bag. I have no idea actually where I got this, but it came with one of my bags. So I do have it out as decor. This little tray right here, it actually came in a little like jewelry box that I got a long time ago. So I did keep the insert. And right here, we just have some earrings. We actually have, Ryan's mom gave this to me. That's Ryan as a baby. So I wanted to keep it. And I think it's so cute. Look at him. It looks like Mia actually. So really cute. And it's a little pendant for a necklace. And then right here, we just have some earrings. So those were the earrings from Swarovski that Ryan got me for Christmas. So I keep them in there and I wear them all the time. So love them and then right here this section is gucci and then yeah gucci as well and i have a little gucci book this actually came in a trio so like i said it was from uh i got it from etsy but she doesn't have her shop anymore so i'll try to find something else on etsy for you guys but they're basically fake books so instead of buying the real ones but these ones are actually very expensive too but i just liked how it came with marble and it had pink and gold i just thought that was so pretty and then right on the top we have the gucci mermont bag this is the very first gucci bag i ever bought so i've had it for i want to say five years now and it's still i mean is in perfect condition like i just love this bag so so much oops and the back i know i've showed this in the last video but i think it just makes the bag that much more unique so it actually has a heart on the back so i bought this bag when we went to maui and it just brings back memories and i love it i love the gold and pink i just think it's so pretty so i love displaying that bag and I'm just gonna put that bag right back there. So I have this little fur that I got from HomeSense. I actually just wanted to switch something up because I felt like something was missing. So I did put it on this Gucci bag that I have here, which also is just such a standout bag to me. It has like diamonds all around it. It has this cool, neat snake in the front here. And it's just a very luxe bag. So I really like it. You've seen it in my videos before. I think I've done like a little what's in my bag with it too. So if you didn't know, I was obsessed with small leather goods, you know now, <laughs> but I definitely love small bags and small wallets. It's just something that I've collected for so long and I definitely think I've grown my collection to something that I truly love and value and appreciate so, so much. So I just wanted to go through each one with you. I'll start off with the newest. So this right here is actually a makeup bag that I got and it's really cute it's not the color pink i thought it would be it is a little bit different it's a very pale pale pink but i got it from rebag so uh yeah i do think it's pretty cute i am going to use it actually on our next trip i think that will be really nice it's a good size i think it'll fit like a makeup uh palette powder a brush like it should fit a good substantial amount of makeup in there so like i said when the iridescent collection came out i got a lot of stuff from that collection so right here we have the mini wallet and i love this size i honestly think this is probably the most normal size wallet and it can fit a lot of your cards it can fit cash and this is just like a standard size i think which is perfect 
Um, I don't think I need ever really like a big, big wallet to take out. There's not so much that I bring with me, but it is a nice traveling wallet. Right here, we actually have this. So this actually looks like a wallet, but it's actually a wallet on chain. So on the inside here, which I love, I actually use this bag a lot. So right here we have the strap and then there's an inside pocket and then tons of space for your cards. So I do like the size of this. You can't fit like a lipstick in here, but I think it's just meant for like your cards and you can use it as a, a side bag. So, or sorry, crossbody bag. So I really like that. Right here we have a little Chanel wallet. I actually don't use this that often, but I do think it is really pretty and it's just a classic little wallet that they came out with. I love the gold hardware. I think that's really nice with this rose colored pink. And then moving on right here, this is one I probably like the least just because it doesn't have a zipper. So I feel like it, I'd be pretty nervous to have my cards in cash in here and it may fall out. So that's the only thing. It doesn't have any like protection on the inside, but I mean, I had to just oh, get anything I could when this collection came out because it was so beautiful. And if you actually see how it is iridescent, it literally sparkles in person. It is by far the prettiest pink I have ever seen. So I just love that I was able to grab so many pieces and I had to find them from basically everywhere. I found a few in the US, I found a few in Canada from the Chanel stores. It was pretty crazy when I was trying to find them, but they sold out so fast. But right here we have the Rose Ballerine. This is the smallest wallet I own, so it's really cute. I have used it a lot while traveling. That's what it looks like on the inside here. And... The next one here is actually my favorite wallet of all time, my Twist. So this actually is the mini one, but they do have this wallet in the large version too. And I just love the Twist so, so much. And then on this wallet, if you guys have seen my videos before, you know that I engraved Mia and Sophia's initials. So we got this done together when I was with Ryan. We actually went to the Louis Vuitton store when we went to uh, uh, LA. So it was on like Melrose and it was just... Oh, it was such a fun experience and I was just so excited to get their names engraved. That's what I was trying to think of. So uh, Rodeo Drive, that's where I got the wallet and the store was massive, like so, so big. It was like three floors and it was just so much fun to go there and I did pick up that wallet. I got my mom a Louis Vuitton bag as well. Uh, from that trip and then right here this is actually that's what I was saying instead of the camera bag this is my favorite bag because it comes with uh, two separate inserts I just think that's crazy for like the value of this bag it's it's crazy that you get three inserts so you have a whole section for your cards you also can put whatever you want in this separate thing right here but I, I love that and then it's a crossbody bag so it comes with a chain if you're looking to invest into a small bag definitely check this one out because it comes in every color and I just use this bag so so much I have this in red I use it every single day and then right here I have that matching wallet so it's the same rose ballerine print and this is it right here I just honestly fell in love when they came out with this color. It's so unique, so pretty. If you love pink, you're going to love this color pink. It's so pale and beautiful, and it's just the classic pink. Right here, we also have that same pink. So this is one of the very first uh, little accessories I got. So it's actually meant for your cards and change. And I was so excited when I got this. I think it was the very first one that I got. Last but not least, this bag right here. This was actually from Ryan from last Christmas. So it's a really beautiful, different sort of like dusty rose pink. It's the same pink as this mini wallet right here. So I just think it's such a fun bag. It's a crossbody bag as well. So you can wear it crossbody. Honestly, I am all for crossbody because I find that is the most used bag because it's practical. And if you're going grocery shopping, going shopping, like you just don't want to be holding a bag. So I find over top handles, I will go for a crossbody more likely. But yeah, I really like the front of the bag too. It's really pretty. So that is all of my wallets. I just wanted to show you and go into detail on a lot of these pieces. So I will try to link everything down below for you. A lot of these wallets you can still pick up from Louis Vuitton. These ones here are a little bit harder to find, but you can find them pre-loved since Chanel doesn't actually have this collection anymore. But that is everything in there. Okay, now moving on to this next shelf right here. So I have four bags. And then right here we have the YSL. This is actually my only YSL bag. I remember this was actually from my five regrets video. So it is just a bag. I still really do love it. And I love the color. I love the front of the bag. Um, it just is a bag that I don't use often. And it's a super thin bag. 
as well but it also is very structured and like I don't know it's just not my style I think and at the time I thought I was trying to get like a very professional bag and I think I just wanted to buy a luxury bag so badly so I have had it for like I think five or six years now uh, but it's just a bag that I think I would use for display and I don't use it all that often but the color is really really beautiful um, and I think YSL has some really nice handbags and right here that rose ballerine I got the Alma bag so this is the larger one and this I remember when it came out I was so excited I just thought it was such a pretty color and I know I've said this before, but the only thing I don't like is the top handle. I think it is a little too small to fit your hand through. I wish they made it a little bit bigger. And then right here we have the gold lock and it is still a classic bag. I think it's really pretty and it comes in a lot of colors as well. You can get this in a smaller version, which is nice. And I think I would have gone with the smaller version because I think this bag would be good for date night or like shopping and I don't think you need a bag this big. I think you could go for like the smaller one. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys that as well. And it is a little bit squeaky too. I find the handles are a little squeaky, but it is a really pretty, pretty color. Now getting to the upper shelves right here. So those are actually two of my favorite bags. And I say that about all my bags, but uh, I think the twist I have to say is like one of my top two. So this right here, uh, I did buy, I think before I bought the Twist wallet, and I just fell in love with this style bag. I think it's so nice, and I love the Twist logo in the front. I love how it opens. Uh, I love the color. I love everything about the bag. It's really nice. You can wear it crossbody or off your shoulder. And then right below it, I actually have a little Chanel book that I got. And then next to that, I have the classic flap medium Chanel bag and it is a really gorgeous darker pink with gold hardware so it is a really unique bag that I have and it's different than all the other pinks that I have in my collection uh, and I just like switching things up so it is a little bit different and was I was so excited when I got that bag so I did want to show you all of my handbags one more time so that is what that section looks like and then that is what that section looks like. I can't believe we just got through all of that. Uh, and then to show you again at the top, we have a Louis Vuitton box and then a House of CB box. So that is everything on my shelves. And I wanted to get, before I get into my vanity side here, which I will be showing you guys in a minute, um, one more look at the shelves and like I said I will leave a link down below and then I did want to show you the ottoman that I have right here so this is actually from Wayfair as well and it's the same tuft cream color that I have in the larger size so I fell in love with this it's so beautiful like I said great price and all I did was I put a pink fur rug on it as well which you already know like I think I'm obsessed with fur rugs you can get them on Amazon you can also find them at like home sense and stuff like that they have them at a ton of stores and then right over here we actually have a Vogue book and then below that I have a Chanel book so I have coffee table books everywhere and I think they make for such nice decor pieces in your beauty space your office your closet and I always find space for them so I have that. I also have my wedding shoes and I didn't actually wear these on my wedding but I wore them for photos for our style shoot and they are so pretty. They're actually from Aldo. Look at that. Look at that heel. They are not comfortable <laughs> but they also look like they wouldn't be but I mean look how bling that heel is. It's so beautiful for display so I do keep them and then right here this is actually from Bath and Body Works as well so it's got pearls and like jewels on here and then this is just the candle that I've been loving which is champagne toast so Bath and Body Works candles are my favorite I love them so so much and I like displaying them and then on this side of the room just to show you what that looks like I have my big mirror I have my little acrylic cart and then I also have this bench so I actually bought this bench before I bought the cream colored one so of course it's pink and it also has that tuft look and then at the bottom here it has all of these little like gems so I think I got this off Wayfair as well I'll try to find it it's a really nice light pink uh, and then I of course put a white uh, fur rug on top and then I, right here this is actually a Henry Bendel bag I did have it on my shelves before but I wanted to take it off and I just never use this bag I thought I would just put it here and I do think it looks really nice there so right here we actually have a little flower bouquet so this is Rose Forever New York and I chose out the white flowers, which are so pretty. 
and I've been obsessed with these. There's so many companies that do it now, but these ones are actually really beautiful and I just love the entire look. And I also like the black. I think it adds some color. Um, <laughs> color, so funny, but I actually don't have a lot of black in my room at all. So it just is like a nice contrast color is what I meant to say. So that is basically like, I only have a few black things in here. So I think it just is a nice contrast of light and dark. Uh, okay, so this bag right here is Henry Bendel, and I have not shopped there in so long, but I want to say this is one of my first handbags that I've ever gotten. So it has like a nice little gold uh, chain thing right here, which I think is removable, which is neat. And then on the inside here, I just randomly have some picture frames where I'm trying to find where to put them. I also have my Bling Art For You mirror. Look at this so beautiful and i love it so much and i use it all the time actually so just wanted to quickly show you guys that the only thing i'm not going to get into i'm not going to get into all of these drawers and like what i have inside i basically have you would have seen this from my last video i have everything organized and i do have that video down linked below if you want to check it out and here i just have like some makeup i'm thinking about doing a separate video of like an entire makeup collection so i think i'm going to wait for that makeup, brushes, random PR stuff, but I definitely think I'm gonna do a full video. If you wanna see a makeup collection video, let me know in the comments down below and we can do that. All right, so getting into this section of my room. So it is actually a really large bedroom that I use for this closet. And of course I needed this space to film and this is basically where all my creativity comes to life. So I definitely want to make it very special. And over here, I've been, for the longest time, I wanted a really nice floor to ceiling mirror. And I found this off Wayfair and it is so beautiful. And it's that Victorian print I love. So this is what it looks like up close. I get so many questions on it, so I will leave a link down below. But that's the top, and I take so many outfit photos for my Instagram using this mirror, so it just comes in handy so, so much. And I just think it's one of the most special, unique pieces that I have in my space. And look at that detail. It's so beautiful. And also, I know I had a few people say like, oh, what if it were to fall over? Ryan really secured it down, so I mean, I've never had a problem. And I just think it is a piece in this room that has made it so unique and special for me. So I love it. Right here we have my little cart. So I actually got this from, I want to say Marshalls. And it's a little acrylic tray. And I have for the longest time wanted to redesign it. And I finally did in my last video. So I was really excited and I decided to make it a little perfume area. So I will show you what I did. So in the front right here, I put all of my favorites. So we have my Jo Malone. This is Peony and Blush Suede. I use this all the time. It's one of my favorites. Right be behind that, I actually have another Peony and Blush Suede. So this is just the limited edition one. And then right here, we have Tiffany & Co. This I got for Christmas and I am obsessed, you guys. This is the nicest smelling fragrance. It's very hard to explain, but it's very fresh. Um, it's not really floral, but it is, it's so nice. I've been addicted to it. So this is the bottle. I think it's so classy and unique. Behind that, I have Flower Bomb right here. And then right here, we just have a Tiffany & Co. This is just the box, but I mean, come on, look how pretty the box is. You have to keep it. Right behind that, I have a candle and I do love candles, you guys. I buy a lot of candles so i like displaying them right here we have a little Jo malone bag when i got or when i ordered off their website they actually sent these to me with little samples so i was like i can use that for decor i got very excited and then right here we have miss dior which i think is just one of the most classic scents love that and then this one is like rose uh oscar de la rente that i bought look at that bottle like, I want to say that I didn't buy it because the pretty packaging, but I might have. <laughs> right here, we just have another fragrance and Juicy Couture. So behind that, we have a Flower Bomb body lotion. This right here. So I usually get sets and I'll keep the body lotions. Right here, we have the Tiffany & Co. body lotion, which, like I said, smells heavenly. And look how pretty that bottle is. Right here, we have my mini brushes. So I'm still working on those, but I do have them out for display. Right, The last thing that I have right here champagne toast and this is actually a shower gel or body wash so i will actually use that soon but i have been using um a body wash already so once i run out i will use that but 
Right on the bottom, right here, we have some books. So Paris and Coco Chanel. These both are from Amazon. So I love those. And then the Alexa Chung, I think I got that off Amazon too, maybe. They have so many books off Amazon. Honestly, I highly recommend just getting them there than trying to find them at bookstores because they usually can be a little bit more expensive. Right here, we have my Lindy. So the bag charms I showed you, these are the boxes that she sends them in. Look how pretty these are for display. She actually messaged me too. She's like, I love the fact you use them as display. So I love, and that's basically why I have all the products the way I do packaged nicely. I love, I think I was last telling you guys about how I use a lot of my products as decor. So I do have all three of my brush books back here. I have like a little picture. And then on the bottom here, I actually have all of my Chanel books plus my Kate Spade all in good taste. It's a really nice decorative book. And then right here we have a Starbucks mug, a little candle and these sandals I got from Louis Vuitton. So I actually got these when we were in Santa Monica on our trip. So I love them. I think they're really beautiful and different. And I just thought they were something like anything limited edition. I definitely tend to love because I find it's more unique and just different. So I feel like with the red and pink, it totally did grow on me. And I think it's a really unique shoe. And I love the lock. I really, really love the classy like Louis Vuitton lock that they do. So I do have them out right now until I can wear them in the summertime. Um, uh, but yeah, that is everything that I have right here on my cart, which I love this cart so much. And anything acrylic is kind of expensive. I think I paid, I want to say around $200 for this cart. It might have even been more. Uh, they're very hard to find, but I'll try to find ones that are price friendly for you. Uh, maybe on Amazon. So I'll definitely check. And then right here we have another fur rug. Right here I actually keep my Venus at floor. So you guys would have seen this. I got this made for the girls for our Valentine's Day shoot. So it's a nice big heart. I actually want to get another one made. Not as big, like a nice small one. I'll probably get another one made for my beauty room, but one that only has like maybe six or nine flowers. Not like a super large one. Uh, but I think they are really nice quality. I also love the box. I think the gold and white is very pretty. And right on this side here is where my makeup vanity is so that is where all the magic happens I definitely uh, think it is nice to invest into a really beautiful makeup vanity if you are a makeup lover and I definitely think this is one of the most beautiful pieces that Fashions Vanity has on their website they have so many to choose from but I personally think this is probably one of the most classic looks that they have they come in other colors but I think white is just so classy uh, so I do have I can't I think this is the sleigh station I'm pretty sure that's what it's called uh, but right here my pink chair I actually got custom made from Tupperman's. It's a local store. Uh, so I really, like I said, I love that tuft look and I wanted to go with something pale pink because obviously so much of my decor is white. So I just think that, you know, having um, the pink on white is just classic and going with a white chair would have made it too white and also would have been really hard to keep it clean as well. And then just to show you, this is what it looks like without having the pillow on there. So it's a really beautiful chair. It's also really comfortable, really happy I got it. And it's also a really nice office chair. If I didn't want to use it for my uh, beauty space, I could use it as an office chair. So the pillow is just from HomeSense. And then you would have seen this in the last video I did, which was my uh, reorganizing and cleaning my makeup vanity. So if you watch that video, I... I'm so happy you did and I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, definitely check it out. And it was really fun to clean this. I think it's so nice to do that before the new year. And I, like I said, I wanna do a makeup collection video. If it's something you guys wanna see, let me know. I am gonna talk about the things I have on top of here, but I'm not gonna go through all the drawers. If you wanna see a makeup collection, let me know in the comments. In this first drawer right here is basically where I keep all of my palettes that I use. I have some really cute decor left out here. This was actually from one of my subscribers. Look how cute this is. And she knows that I love Paris. So, so cute. And I knew I wanted to have that out as decor. And then Amira also got me this right here. So it says SL Glam. Look how cute. And they're like little Brett's. I just think that's so pretty and so nice to have on my makeup vanity. I also have a little Ted Baker uh, jewelry case right here. We have this mug. She also got this for me. And I love displaying a lot of the stuff that my subscribers get me. It's so meaningful. So I have this really gorgeous lash mug that she sent me. And then right here to get onto my vanity, I have my Jo Malone minis right here, which are my favorite fragrances. They are so beautiful. They last so long on the skin. Right here, I actually have Anastasia glosses in nude. And then this is actually a toothbrush holder but I made it into like a little lip gloss uh, holder. 
right here. This is actually all of my makeup brushes, all the new styles and uh, some brushes that I've done with Ipsy and then the ones that I sell in my shop. So this right here, the acrylic holder is from Amazon. All my brushes you can find in my shop. So I'll leave a link down below for you. And obviously some of my very favorites, I have my rose gold, my pink Barbie, and uh, there's marble collections. There's so much that I'm planning on doing right now. It's actually crazy, uh, but I have them right out in the center because I use my makeup brushes every single day. And then right here we have this beautiful tray I actually got from my subscri uh, subscriber crystal and I use it all the time. It's just so beautiful. It's pink and gold and acrylic as well. Right here I have my rose gold face massager from Sephora. It is actually so nice you guys. I've been using it and it really does plump up your skin and make it feel so nice and it's just a very nice luxurious uh, tool that I can use for my face. It's a face massager. Really love it. I also have my Chanel powder. I have my translucent powder. I have a little diptyque candle. I have my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, Tom Ford, uh, Soleil Blanc, both kinds, and then Pat McGrath Foundation, Tom Ford, Tom Ford, and then Joe Malone. On this side right here, I actually switched up from when you saw the video. So I just have my makeup in here. And then I put this really cute little vase that I found and it was actually downstairs and it was in my beauty space before. So I wanted to bring it back up. I do like having like fake flowers in my room. I think it just adds a nice touch. And then right here, we just have three little mini Pat McGrath lipsticks. We also have a little candle. And then right behind there, this is actually the bag that I use. You guys, I use this every day. It is my longest bag that I've owned and it's the red one. I have this in pink as well. I showed you uh, showed you it in the rose ballerine color. So I mean, I use that every day. So I, so I just wanted to show you a quick little look on what that looks like. I also have this really sweet unicorn that I got from my friend Susie. So if you're watching this, thank you, Susie. I love this so much. It is something that I have kept in my beauty space for the last two years. And it is a custom S unicorn. It is so cute, so me. So thank you so much. And yeah, that is it. I think I went around my entire beauty space and whatever you guys want to call this room, beauty space, closet, walk-in closet, I don't know. It's just basically where I am all the time. And I actually had something just arrive, so I thought I would show you quickly. And you remember I was telling you guys I buy all of my shoes, uh, shoes from Nordstrom Rack. So Ryan and I just got our order that came in. So I wanted to quickly show you. And I will leave a link down below on all the wedges I can find right now, but they are on sale. Like... I'm talking big discounts. These were $40. So these are brand new. I thought they were really different and something fun I could wear for the summer. So I ended up getting them and look how cute they are. So I definitely love my wedges because they're comfortable, but they also give me height because I'm so short. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys these. So I definitely will be adding these into my beauty room. And yeah, really cute. I actually cannot believe I just finished filming the entire video of my tour. This, I hope, was in depth for you. And I hope I went through everything and I didn't miss anything. The only last thing I wanted to share with you guys is my chandelier. So that was actually Ryan that put that up. And he helped me pick it out from Home Depot. So it looks very expensive, but it was very inexpensive. And I feel like it's a mesh, a little bit of both. I definitely have some high-end items in here, but I have a lot of stuff that I've saved a lot of money on. It just takes some searching and some digging. So I hope this video helped you out if you're looking at redesigning your space or just getting some new things for the new year. All right, so I'm gonna start off right over here and I have completely redecorated this room. If you watched my last series that I did, I showed you guys like all of my organizing that I did for the new year. So I'm really excited to share with you how this room turned out and just everything that I have in here. So I will try to link everything down in the description bar for you. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So right over here on my little clothing rack. So if you saw my Insta stories, I'm actually getting rid of this just because I can't hold a lot of stuff on it without it falling. So it's not the best. It is pretty wobbly, uh, but I do have some pieces on here right now. So right here, this is actually this long, beautiful cashmere um, jacket that I got. So this is actually from House of CB and it has a belt and it is the softest thing I have ever worn. And it's pretty long long on me but if you are taller I mean it definitely will work for you that's the only thing it is quite long but I love it so so much it's really warm for winter uh, and I just love how soft it is so I have that and then also if you were wondering I actually got my hangers these ones right here which are the wood hangers these are from Amazon so I've been looking for the longest time for really nice quality hangers and 
they were actually really inexpensive so i'll leave a link down below but those are from amazon right here i have my new jacket so i actually got this for my birthday when i went to vancouver and it is from aritzia and i love the color i went through my entire obsession with that really nice like beige color um so during the holidays i definitely was really really loving this this color beige but uh, it's a really nice warm coat and it's fancy of course and I don't have a fancy coat so I needed to get one and I actually wore this on my birthday with the dress I wore so that I'd show it to you guys and it has really beautiful buttons on it as well so I really love it and I also like the sleeve the logo is really neat how it has this right here so I'll link this down below I know they do still have these coats here too I don't wear it all the time but it is really nice to use like in my space for decor and displaying uh right here of course i have to display these these are actually the girls little vests so there's four of them which i think they're going to be growing out of these soon but i still want to keep them and they are from h m and then the little ones with the cherries are actually from zara and these little hangers i got were actually from indigo dresses that i got and i hope to find ones like these i'm sure i can find them on etsy or something like that because they're so cute uh, and they're little baby ones, so I definitely want to put these ones in the girls' nursery. I just have to find more, but I really love these vests, so I do display them. And then right here, I just have two bags, so I just have no room for these on my actual shelves, so I just thought I would hang them. And right here, this is actually a bag I use all the time. It's Louis Vuitton. I got it off Fashion File, and it was a great price, so that is why I got it. But I love how big the logo is, and I actually use this bag a lot. I want to say it's probably one of my most used bags. And the next one here is my Prada backpack. So this I actually got for my birthday. And uh, I know I talked about it in one of my videos telling you guys I don't like how it lost its shape. So that's the only thing. When you don't have it stuffed, it does lose its shape. And uh, that's the only thing. But you can fit a lot in here, which I do like. And like I said, I really like the color. So it's a really, really beautiful fall color. So I just leave these up here as decor just so they're safe. Uh, and then right down here, right down here I have this little shoe rack. This I actually got, it's acrylic, and this was from HomeSense. So the only thing I talked about, I just uh, don't like how you can only fit six shoes on here. So I can't really display any of my other shoes with it. I just wish it was a little bit bigger, uh, but I do have six pairs of shoes here. So I'm a big fan of wedges. Uh, these ones right here are Jeffrey Campbell. I actually wore these on my birthday. They are so comfortable and they don't look like they would be, but I could wear these all night long. They are very comfortable and they're very showy and blingy and I just love them so much. So those were from Nordstrom's. I'll leave a link down below. I also got these Aldo wedges. These were from Boxing Day and I got them on sale. So I just thought these were really cute and they have like a really neat gold trim around the shoe. So I have those and then we have some Steve Madden, which you already know I shop at Nordstrom Rack all the time. So most of my wedges are from there. So that's what they look like. And then on the bottom here, I just have my Gucci sandals. These ones right here. So I wear them in the summer quite a bit, but they're not very comfortable. So they definitely are a showy sandal, dressy sandal, uh, but I wouldn't get another pair. So I just leave them here. And then right here, we just have some wedges. I think these ones are Michael Kors. I got these off of Nordstrom Rack as well. Like I said, they always have amazing deals and sales. And for shoes, I definitely love to save a little bit of money. Uh, but yeah, this is just an acrylic little stand. I don't know if I'll be able to find one, but if I do, then I will leave a link down below. Uh, like I said, that was from HomeSense. Right here, this is from Indigo. So this is a nice little ottoman that I have, which it actually matches the one that I have right here. So I'll talk to you guys about that in a second. But uh, these are great prices off Wayfair. So I will leave a link down below. They come in just about every single color. I love the tuft look. I think it looks so classy and amazing. It's super soft and I just have fallen in love with these. And like I said, I got them for a really great price. Uh, so right here, I just have this really, really nice, I'm not sure if it's a blanket or scarf. I got it from Indigo though, and it's light pink. It's really, really soft. And then right here, we just have a House of CB box that I use as decor, because I already told you guys I'm obsessed with their clothes, but I love using their boxes as decor because they're so pretty. Right here, we have my Neverfull, and I've actually seen this bag lots on Fashion Fall, so I'll leave a link down below on the ones that I can find. Uh, this is probably one of my most used bags. And whenever I travel, I take this with me. It's just so easy to carry and use. And then of course you have the insert. Yeah, it's not very clean right now. I have a lot of stuff from 
the last time I traveled. Uh, but the insert right here is awesome. You can keep organized. You can put your passport, your wallet, uh, everything in here. So it's really, really nice to keep organized. And I am just always using this bag. So definitely love that. And then right over here, I actually got this really cute little backpack from Indigo. And I haven't used it yet, but I love using it as decor. It's just so cute. And... Uh, yeah, I got it for a really great price. I think it was 30 or $40 and it's just adorable So I leave it there and then underneath that I have a Sophia Webster box So that is a shoe shoe line and I just love keeping boxes out for decor right here Venus at floor So this is a little acrylic rose that I got they are kind of expensive uh, But they really are beautiful for decor. I'm actually planning on getting another one for my my space Maybe like for my makeup vanity, but they are really pretty they come in every single color so really cute and they last up to a year okay guys so that was my entire beauty room tour i took you around the entire space i went through all the products so i really hope you enjoyed watching it and definitely let me know if you want to see that makeup collection video because those were the areas that i skipped uh, but if you want to see a video like that definitely let me know in the comments down below also let me know if you guys have organized your beauty spaces for the new year definitely send me an insta story of your setup i would love to see and of course i will see you guys on makeup monday